Do you want an AI image prompt that can create incredibly realistic images straight out of the movies? Have I got a prompt recipe for you? And I'm not kidding, these prompt recipes will take your images to a whole new level. Today we're having some fun creating mid-journey prompts in ChatGPT. Don't worry if you don't use mid-journey, this ChatGPT script works just as well in Stable Diffusion. I found this ChatGPT AI image prompt recipe wandering around on the mid-journey Discord. There's a whole image jam devoted to variations on this script. This script, or recipe, seems to be the brainchild of Tango 1. So a big shout out to Tango 1. If you're a mid-journey user, I'll put a direct link to the ChatGPT image jam in the description below. Members have created ChatGPT scripts that generate mid-journey prompts. These scripts make everything from airplanes to alien worlds. Let's try out a few of these scripts and see what makes them tick. Then I'll show you how to create scripts of your own. Creators share their scripts as text files. Simply click on the script to download it. The script looks something like this when you open the file. It's a list of instructions to ChatGPT on how to build a mid-journey prompt. This is one for a Star Wars character. We're going to copy the script and paste it into ChatGPT. But before we do this, let's take a closer look at the instructions. The script starts with an objective and ends with a command. Each step instructs ChatGPT to add detail to the image. Sometimes the creator gives ChatGPT exact instructions. Sometimes the creator lets ChatGPT choose from a list of options or make choices based on knowledge the AI probably has. There are instructions for creating the subject and for the look of the image. Copy the script and paste it into ChatGPT. Click the Submit button and ChatGPT will get to work creating a prompt following your instructions. The resulting prompt is quite long. Let's try out this prompt in Midjourney to see what we get. Copy the prompt in ChatGPT and paste it into Midjourney. Click Return. Here are some of the images created when I fed the ChatGPT created prompt into Midjourney. Not a bad start. Let's break down the prompt to see if ChatGPT is following the instructions. I omitted step 6 because it combines steps 1 through 5. The prompt starts with step 10, then it follows the steps fairly closely. But I was actually wrong to omit step 6. It did add something. Feel free to play with any part of the prompt that you want. I made variations on the prompt that created a fantasy image of a young Jedi. Back in ChatGPT, if you run the prompt again, you'll get a different result. This time I got a female bounty hunter. ChatGPT isn't going to knock it out of the park every single time, but when the prompt comes together, it's magical. There is a level of randomness built into the script, but it seems that ChatGPT has a preference for characters. I got a lot of Jedis and a lot of bounty hunters. If this happens to you, simply ask ChatGPT to exclude these options from the results. ChatGPT can be a bit squirrely sometimes. It sometimes ignores instructions or chooses its own formatting. Check that ChatGPT gave you all the elements that you asked for and is following the formatting instructions. I occasionally have a fight with ChatGPT about the prompt. If this happens to you, start a new chat and recopy the prompt. This often resets the AI. Let's look at another script. This one creates prompts for boats and watercraft. Notice the format is similar to the previous script. I eventually got ChatGPT to give me some good prompts, but not without a fight. ChatGPT can be wordy and repetitive, and it just didn't want to follow the formatting instructions that I had given it. Maybe my script was just too wordy. I rewrote the script, taking out any unnecessary words and punctuation. And this actually seemed to fix most of the problems. I'll put a link to my revised scripts in the description below. I made a few other changes. Let's take a look. I moved the command to generate the prompt at the top of the script, and I put all the formatting instructions together to start. I figured ChatGPT should know a good number of watercraft, so I eliminated the list. But I like the instructions about the underwater craft. I moved them from step 7 to step 2. I left in the steps about era, background, scenario, and weather. I just tightened up the language a bit. I left in the prompt formatting instructions. The instruction about a shorter 150 word prompt was in the original, but ChatGPT was ignoring it, so I made the instruction more prominent. I took out the list of photography terms, figuring ChatGPT should know these. For now, I left in the creator's style, instruction, and parameters. 
These seem to work, but I might change these later to get a different style that is more me. I also prefer 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but you can use whatever you want. I was pleased with the results. ChatGPT chose a wide variety of watercraft, both fictional and real, and created diverse and interesting scenarios and settings. And ChatGPT didn't give me any more problems with formatting. And while the prompts are still long, they are less wordy and repetitive, and Midjourney doesn't seem to mind. Using this format, I rewrote some of the other scripts, like the Alien Worlds script. And I changed the animal prompt posted to the image jam to creatures, both real and fictional. ChatGPT may sometimes use words banned on Midjourney. The words are fine in context, but get flagged by Midjourney. Just substitute a synonym for the banned words and rerun the prompt. One thing I noticed about the prompts is that they make fairly consistent images. Even changing the seed results in a similar sort of image. I'm primarily using Midjourney to create the images for this video, but these prompts also work in Stable Diffusion and Stable Diffusion based models like Blue Willow and Lexica. The look will be a bit different for Midjourney, but the prompts can still create beautiful images. You can change the Midjourney parameters, and you may need to shorten the prompt depending on the AI that you're using. Lexica, for instance, limits prompts to 600 characters. You can ask ChatGPT to do this for you. Here's a list of some of the scripts available on the Midjourney Discord. If you use these scripts, send a big thank you to the creators. Before we start creating our own scripts, I want to show you one more script. It's a little different from the others, and it's more about creating a unique artistic style, stained glass. This script has a few different features that we may want to incorporate. First, ChatGPT should describe the window scene and the window itself. And the prompt includes some artists' names. This is the only script that I've seen that actually includes artists' names. The script also includes a sense of story and asks ChatGPT to rewrite the prompt to include this story. I also like the way this script describes the photographic output. Finally, the prompt is flexible in aspect ratio and other parameters. The script creates wonderful stained glass windows, though for me the results all favored water themes. On Discord there were scripts for planes and for automobiles, but missing is a script for trains, so let's make a new one. Whatever scene or subject you want to create, just use one of these scripts as a template and replace the information. I'm simply going to use the watercraft script and replace watercraft with train. Let's test the script through JetGPT and see what we get. The prompt worked great, but I did have to change the word train to rolling stock. When I used the word train, ChatGPT could only think of steam-powered locomotives, but rolling stock opened up the field. I posted this script to the Discord group. But here is a new script just for you. It's called Unreal History. It creates prompts depicting events that haven't happened. ChatGPT came up with the Battle of Hastings fought with futuristic technology, the Viking invasion of Japan in the 9th century with the aid of flying dragons, the moon landing by a joint mission between humans and extraterrestrial beings, and the 1920s tornado strike on New York City. Lots of fodder for your imagination. And one last thing before we leave. While you're on ChatGPT, why don't you have it write you a social media description and hashtags for the image? This doesn't usually work because right now ChatGPT can't look at images, but since it just wrote the image prompt, it knows what the image should look like and will write a description and choose hashtags for you. Here's a command that works pretty well for me. Share your ChatGPT scripts with us in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.